The reactive and the product here look quite different. But before we get started with anything, I want to point out the fact that you're using the same number of carbons on both sides. So here we have a six-membered ring, and in the product you get one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. The key to being able to tackle this particular reaction is the realization that if you have a double bond right here, you can use ozonolysis to get to that stage. So first we add O3, followed by zinc and H3O+. Okay. And again, we're starting with no functionality to our left, so we kind of need to add a Br2 and UV light. And what that's going to do is give us a bromine. Now this reaction looks really easy because all we have to do is add KOH to get that double bond.